What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. Check it out. Miss Pac-Man is officially complete. Cowabunga! Let's get shell! Pizza power! So if you've been following the build, you'll kind of know the headache that we had with this atrocious game elf. I think I'm calling it guys. I think I'm done with jammers. The jammer boards are a little bit more expensive. Yes, they do feel authentic, but check it out. In Pac-Man, vertical 800 in one games using a Raspberry Pi. Big credit to Mr. Burns. It is a Mr. Burns vertical image. You can find it if you do a Google search. 800 games, strictly vertical running on a Pi. This one's really cool. I'm really shocked at it. It looks great. 27 inch LCD monitor on this. It looks amazing. Not to mention a track mode on this looks great insane mr burns image i mean big shout out to him i don't know who it is but i did download your image and it's a really good image especially if you want to do vertical games this hands down is a great image i'm going to turn the camera around because you guys don't like selfie mode let's take a closer look at this build and what's inside of it so real quick the last little bit i have to do is basically put in our inserts into the player one and player two start but essentially this build is considered complete so the thing about this build is that I did not do the LED buttons on this. Um, right now it does look great. Uh, if I do actually sell it and if a customer does want me to do the LED buttons, it's already pre-wired. I just didn't run the wire because in all honesty, in the back of it, I do need to run a power supply to it. If I did that, I would actually be removing the um, fluorescent out of this. If I was to do the LED mod on this, I would remove the fluorescent light out of this and put the LED strip, making also this work we do have the lights on the slot coins working so now again the last thing i have to do is put the buttons in this right now the control panel is actually locked in from the bottom this looks great also off camera you guys don't see it but we do have a z313 on this uh you could kind of see the volume switch on that so we did install a z313 Take a look at the back of it. We are gonna clean it up a little bit, but basically again, I always do keep stock hardware. So the stock bezel is staying in this and also the stock control panel is staying in this. But real quick, you could see, kind of see, our subwoofer to our Z313. On the right side of this, you do see what I did with my modification. Took out the power supply to the arcade, basically made an outlet going straight into the switch here. So this switch does work. The outlet does have power to it. Basically, we have power going to our Pi and our speakers. Our monitor power is going directly into the switch on the side of it. So I did cut the power to it. But again, a Raspberry Pi 32 gigabyte image on this HDMI wire going right to this LCD screen. Really cool. You tap the joystick and now you have it looks like almost hyper spin again. Joystick also zippy joystick set to a four way on this. So it does work great. And I do have this set to after about 10 seconds, it goes back into a track mode. There you go. You can set it for longer, but this one right now, I do have this set to 10 seconds. As far as like little wiring here, we have our ground wired, which we're gonna actually tape that up. And we have our input to the Zinmo for the coin. There you have it. This is it. Door is gonna be closed. I'm gonna show you guys that everything works. I'm gonna see I have a quarter on hand. I do have a quarter on hand. Let's go real quick. I have this set to left and right. We'll skip the letter. So what we're gonna do right now is that we are going to do a Miss Pac-Man. First button to enter. I have this, the sound system again is set to about, I would say 50%. Um, I could raise the volume, which is you probably won't hear me, but right now I'm going to raise the volume up just to show you guys for all the haters that doubt it. Again, Pac-Man is loaded one quarter and there you have it. Not too bad. Quick on the reflexes with the zippy. Oh, 
as you can see. Doing pretty good. Again, volume high, subwoofer giving bass to the sound. For this here to exit, which again, right now in retail mode, I'm gonna leave it on Pac-Man. For you to exit though, I do have button four and button one. So button four is my hotkey. As you can see right now, it is loud. Microphone pointed away from the system. Let me lower this up. And there you have it. Basically, we do have up here two speakers. The Z313's left and right is going right to the middle of this. You can actually see it. One and two, you see the shadow of it. So again, Z313 speakers are up here and hidden. Really great stuff. This does have a lot of stuff. The only thing I did notice that's missing is Centipede. Um, that was kind of a downside. I wanted to play that. But again, Centipede, you do need a trackball. But for right now, this does look really good. It looks really great. Again, we are going to put this up for sale. Again, just how it is. Unfortunately, with the piece of wood here, I put two screws, but it didn't really do much. The wood is just warped. Selling this right now for 900, as is right now, 900 bucks, 801 games. Again, keep in mind, we do have our carbon fiber. We got our carbon fiber bezel, carbon fiber control panel. For somebody that's going to buy it, I could program an exit button. I was going to do that, um, but and in all honesty, a pie in a retail space, it's just easier to leave it as one game. And then I could come in and switch the game every day. Uh, but most popular, because I do have this right next to my desk, most popular is Pac-Man. So I'm going to bring this up to where it was before. And we're going to run Miss Pac-Man. Again, closing it up, guys. The Pac-Man retrofit. Originally supposed to be a game elf converted into a Raspberry Pi 800 in one games because this thing is trash right now currently yelling not yelling but in an argument with the guy that sold it to me on ebay uh even i even sent them the last video of youtube that we made so hopefully we got a refund back but again nice clean up got our outlet here again it does work with the switch so once you flip the switch we have zero power to everything everything is off 